What is going on guys, it's Brandon Jay, and today we are gonna be exploring the inside of what used to be an active volcano. So about 15,000 years ago, all of this where I'm standing right here would have actually been lava. If you look around, you can see the whole ridge of what used to be the volcano, uh, but now it's just a beautiful beach that we're gonna be searching today. This volcano has a giant ridge that goes all the way around, and part of that actually broke into the ocean, which allowed this big amount of water to come in, make a really nice lagoon, and a beautiful coral reef here as well. Even though this place used to be a dangerous volcano, it's not anymore. It's actually a really beautiful beach out here, and it's a really popular spot where people come out to tan and even swim in the beautiful reefs right here behind me. So today, I have a brand new piece of equipment. It's just like Jake's. I've got the space gun metal detector. I'm gonna be taking this thing into the water, wearing my big headphones, and listen for any treasure that may be buried beneath the sand. Remember, this is a place where thousands and thousands of people come a day. So there's so much traffic here that somebody is bound to lose something. Hopefully, we can find something expensive and not just like a bunch of little pennies, but there's no telling what we're gonna find today. I'm just super excited to actually get to use this new piece of equipment. While Jake and I are gonna be trying to find treasure, Tristan's just gonna be Drawing in the sand. What are you doing, T? Making a beautiful painting. <laughs> Brandon, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, got him. <laughs> he doesn't care. He just keeps going, just keeps going. So this is going to be one of my first times metal detecting in a place like this, so I'm honestly really excited about that. But before we do that, this is a really special reef. There's species that are in this bay that are almost in nowhere else in the world. So. We're gonna hop in the water first. I'm gonna show you just how beautiful this place is, and then we're gonna be digging in the sand, see if we can find anything good today. All right guys, so we just got out of the water and honestly, this place is so beautiful. The reef fish here are so vibrant. There's so many little fish just swimming around. There's so many different like little cubby holes where all the fish just like tuck into. There's a bunch of different color reefs. This place is honestly so beautiful. While Jake and I went diving, <laughs> look what Tristan's been up to. What you got going on, T? It's a smiley face. You made a smiley face? Yeah, I'm not too good at sand castles. So you made a smiley face in Zed? Yeah. <laughs> While Jake and I were diving, <laughs> Tristan freaking made a smiley face. The waves are getting really big right now. It's throwing uh -huh. up the water a little bit. Oh, well, go. look at it way out there, man. It's like oh, hitting the rocks. Surfing, look, look. Oh, he's surfing. That's so sick, man. He's the only person out there, too. He's surfing a whole volcano. That's really cool, actually. <laughs> but now it's time to get to the good stuff. We are gonna go out with a dental demector, <laughs> AKA metal detector. And basically how this is gonna work today is I'm gonna be using this one to actually find all the metal that's hidden under the sand. I've got these big headphones that I can actually use underwater. So once this actually tells me about where the object is, I'm gonna take this thing, stick it into the sand, and it's gonna vibrate and flash blue whenever it's on metal. So I'll be able to dig, pinpoint around, until I uncover what's actually hidden under the sand, and I'll be able to pull that out and put it right in my pocket. I'm honestly pumped to use this thing. I haven't even tried it out to see if it works yet, so uh, hopefully the battery's charged, because I didn't check. So <laughs> we're gonna hop in the water, see if we can find anything cool today. Thank <laughs> you. 
start with something good. Just a little bolt. <laughs> Tristan and I just stole Brandon's camera. Brandon's hopping back in the water over there. And what he doesn't know is that we're actually pranking him today. Look at this. We got a real deal like Whoa. diamond wedding ring that I bought from Walmart for really cheap, but it looks really expensive. <laughs> and I've been hyping it up. Like I want to find like a, a woman's wedding ring that's really expensive. Since he got his new metal detector, Tristan and I thought it'd be really cool to prank him. So what we're going to do is actually place this in the water <laughs> and uh, hopefully he finds it and gets a big reaction. But that's going to be hilarious, man. <laughs> Little does he know, the reason I've been building sand castles and not doing much is because I've been helping out with the prank. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to cry. <laughs> He's going to be so upset. <laughs> It's a really old quarter. That thing is super old. That's cool. That was deep. Quarter of this thing's freaking black. Oh no! That's crazy. It's been there so long, it's black now. Alright, guys, so good news and bad news. Good news is I found some stuff. Bad news is we found uh, about 75 cents. <laughs> That's about it. And a bobby pin. So, so far I found quite a few pennies, a few quarters, a paper clip and a bobby pin. My metal detector was a lot more than that, so I'm gonna need to find some bigger status stuff to be able to afford this thing. So we're gonna hop back in the water, see if we can find anything else. But I do have to say before I do that, using this thing is so much fun. You're just listening to your headphones and it's like zoom, zoom, zoom. And you put the gun down, you get the pinpointer, you put it in, it's like da, 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 da. You start sweeping it out, stirring up all the sand, and then you dig out what's actually in the sand. And it's so cool, man. It's like an adult Easter egg hunt. You never really know what you're gonna find. And uh, I don't know, so far I'm finding a bunch of change. Hopefully, hopefully that will change and I'll find something good. quarter. Wow, that is really, really old. All right, we got a 2016 penny. Sweet. All right, guys, so I'm starting to learn that there's a strategy with this. So basically, everybody is like piled up on the beach, but you have to look in like the sand pocket. So there's like a bunch of reef that like comes up, uh, but people are mainly just walking around in the sand. So I started looking in the sand, starting to find a little bit more stuff. So I'm going to stick with that pattern. I'm going to keep walking like down the beach in the sand pockets and then just search those areas. So hopefully I'll find more stuff that way. No way. That's 
my first ring. Oh man, it's so nice. It's like a male's wedding band right there. That's so cool. Guys, I am so freaking stoked right now. I went from finding pennies, quarters, some bobby pins, and I was a little discouraged, but I tried a couple different things, searched a couple different areas. Are you ready for this, T? Yeah. Not only do I have one wedding band, oh. I have two wedding no. bands, bro. Yeah, man, and they're like, they're not rusted or anything. That's awesome. I was it's so men's? freaking stoked, huh? It's men's yeah, band? I think they're men's. Somebody had kind of a small finger, but I think it's like that, uh, what's that uncuttable one? Titanium? Uh, Titanium, that sounds right. Anyway, something like that. I think it's one of those, because it's like, a, I mean, they're, they're metal, but I freaking found two men's wedding band. I found a bunch of different other stuff too, it's in my pocket, but I was really, really excited about these. Isn't that sick? That's what we came here for. These are my first rings. I don't know which one was my first, because I put them both in my pocket, but I know Jake found like some big gold rings. I wish I found one of those, but these are just as cool. My first time using my metal detector, I freaking find something like this. That's really cool. That's so awesome, man. Heck yeah. I'm gonna go put these in the bag real quick. All right, so I was actually walking down the beach, had my metal detector all obvious, and Zoe came up to me. She was like, are you Jordan? I was like, yes, yes, that is me. <laughs> so it turns out they actually watched the videos pretty cool, but I want to get their reaction on some of my favorite finds today. So I think they say stuff, something says something oh, on the inside, inside of that one. Oh my gosh, oh. it might be wedding. And then something on the inside of that one. So if you could read that. Oh, it's April 2007. So maybe like the day somebody no, got married got or something? Married. Oh. They lost oh, their wedding rings. Oh, so found a ring. I know, I know. Hopefully we can get it back to the owners, but uh, we're going to have to follow the clues on the inside right. to try to get it back. But Comment down below if it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to get so many comments. No, right. They're going to be like, it's Jordan, send me my ring, yo. <laughs> Well, it was super nice meeting nice you guys. To meet you. Thank you guys for coming up. Thank and thanks for uh, taking a look at the rings. Of course. Hope you guys enjoy Hawaii. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye. What's up, man? Hop up. Boom. What's up, man? <laughs> you want one? <laughs> I was starting to get a little bit worried that all I was going to find was like little bobby pins and trash, but I got to tune the metal detector where it would tell me certain types of metals and I ended up finding those rings. I think we decided they were tungsten rings. It's really cool to find wedding rings like that. We're going to do a little bit more investigating, see if there's any other engravings. Maybe we can get it back to the owners. I know for the people who had those, obviously it's very sentimental, so if we could get that back. I'll keep you guys updated. Honestly, I had a blast with that thing. When I was sweeping across the sand and it would go off, I was like, oh my gosh, I got so excited every single time because you just never know what you're gonna find. I'm starting to learn how to break down the areas with just going to the sand pits, so I'm still learning, but I gotta say, my first time, I found some pretty epic stuff. Tristan, you get a lot of sand castles made today? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, good day for you too. Heck That's yeah. a success. And <laughs> hey, look at this little guy. <laughs> no, uh... No treasure, but uh, I had a great day on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just tanned all day, man. Well, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed and you want to see us go to more beaches while we're out here in Hawaii, make sure you drop a big thumbs up. I may be addicted to metal detecting now, so I can see us doing more videos like this if you guys like it. I appreciate you guys watching this far. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace out. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a up price on y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hay. So they have a drill sergeant lifeguard apparently today. <laughs> Alright, the beach is closed so we really gotta go now. Bye guys! <laughs>